This Indian Sikh temple behind me serves a hundred and thousand free meals each day. Let's have a look inside, but before we start, we have to take our shoes off. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so the first step was get on our bare feet, and the next step is wash our feet. Is that security officer over here? Okay. Thank he's you very much. He's retired official Indian Army. Uh, now he's doing volunteer service over here. Very cool. You also have a big uh, sword or that yeah, one over that there? Spear. I hope he doesn't have to use it too often. Definitely, you know, it's just a sign of a uh, significance. Wow. Beautiful. So that's the Golden Temple, right? It's been fought for for hundreds of years by the Sikh. The entrance through which I just entered is actually one of the four entrances of this Golden Temple. On every direction, this way and then three other ways, it has an entrance. And the thought behind it is that the Sikh believe that anyone should be able to enter the temple. It doesn't matter which sex, which religion or even which caste, everyone is welcome. Every Sikh temple has a langar where they serve free food for anyone who wants it and the reason why they do that is because there are people who might not be able to get a meal every day and Sikh is still a religion so for them what they say is that without an empty stomach you cannot get closer to God. As you can see it's really busy here. So many people from all over India, all over the world visiting this temple. It's actually the most famous temple, famous Sikh temple there is. As you can see here already, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of plates already. Thank you very much. This area behind me, it's already packed. <laughs> but this is where they only serve their chai or their teas. And I think I just got here on tea time. Hello. What are you making? Seva. Garlic, right? For good taste. <laughs> just made a new friend. I am so happy. Very good, you can see. I need you. <laughs> Me too. Can I help you? Me helping with the food. Yes? Okay. Ah. I must say, you being happy, me being happy too. So I was just talking to one of the volunteers and behind me there are many people preparing the food. There must be a hundred or a thousand of volunteers in this temple. You can just come here, sit down, peel some garlic. It's really amazing and the beauty about it as well is that it doesn't matter if you're Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, everyone is here sitting next to each other, working, being happy. I think a lot of people can learn something from this. How do you cook for 100,000, maybe 200,000 people each day? Well, it's done in these humongous pots behind me. And I was thinking, this is where the food is being made. But these used pots are only for the chai and the milk or the yogurt. Actually, over there is where the real food is made. Now I think there are like five, six, seven of these pots behind me. You must be able to hold like 10,000 of liters or kilos of rice, curries, spices of course. Wow, must be quite a work, but many hands make work light and you've seen the volunteers starting to get a little bit hungry here. Chef is over offering tea. Okay. Hello, namaste. Sasrika. Sashrika. You know what is Sashrika is a Sikh greeting, Punjabi greeting. Okay. Namaste is an uh, Indian greeting. Ah, for but, that? Yeah. I yeah, need but, to... yeah, but you know, if, if we want any Sikh people, Punjabi people, if you say Sashriyaka, he will be more happy ah. rather than a Namaste. Sashriyaka. <laughs> Sashriyaka. What is your secret in making so many meals each day? He say with the uh, grace of our master, 
we are we do this they do this very well okay yeah. thank you all right let's have a good chai given by the master chef himself i love it it's really good wow it's a good taste always good and nice chai This must be the largest quantity of lentils I've ever seen. You, there's only board. In the board, you will see only at one display. Satsuriyaka. <laughs> Good naan. Good naan. <laughs> Satsuriyaka. This must be the biggest naan factory I've ever seen. So all these people here must have been Hundreds of people are working to make the naans, the butter naans to be precisely for the kitchen and it really is a team effort. thousand meals a day the food tastes just great it's really amazing and it's just so humbling to be able to sit here in the kitchen it's all done by volunteers donations in the spirit that all men are brothers like the sick fight for the brotherhood of man and um, I it's these things why I travel, you explore, you see new places, you see new ways to live with each other as well. And I think the sick have shown today how loving and how caring and how good they are for their fellow men, really. I hear there's also a hostel where you can sleep. They have like a thousand or two thousand beds, so um, probably gonna look there for uh, a good bed for the night all right this was it for now see you from another place in india soon peace